Bullets YouTube channel. Hurry up, now tell us why you're here. Terry Carboni will start at pole position for the second race, but then Chick Hicks would end up wrecking seven cars. Hall Ingus was not one of them because he led 231 laps, but now he almost wins the second race, only losing to Dale Earnhardt, who will win the second race. The same car started pole last race. Terry Carboni will start the pole for the third race, where Lee Revkins will go airborne in his first race because of Kyle Traxon. Why? But he's out because of Chick Hicks, who wrecks 11 cars. Jeff Corvette would end up only losing by 7 feet to Hollingus, who will win the third race. The King will start at pole position for the fourth race, but then Chick Hicks would end up doing his thing, wrecking 16 cars, where Matthew Fewitt Wheel will be out for the season. Dale Earnhardt will win his second race of the season with the fourth race. Rowley Bolt Strike will start at pole position for the fifth race, where the King would end up leading the most laps with 221, but Clint Shift Strike would get T bowled by Chick Hicks, who wins the fifth race. Andrew Axler will start at pole position for the sixth race, where Ruby Easy Oaks would go into the catch fence because of Chick Hicks! Why? And also wrecking seven others. Terry Carboni would end up winning the sixth race. But he would start at the pole again for the seventh race. Rusty Wheelhouse would end up leading 76 out of the 500 laps of that race. Chick Hicks would end up wrecking 14 cars. Kevin Phillips is even out for seven races. Clint Shiftright would almost win the seventh race, but in the end, Rusty Wheelhouse would beat him to it, winning the seventh race. Eugene Karbareski will start at pole position for the eighth race, where Ernie Gearson would be out on lap two because of Sammy Smelter. That's so gross! And he actually leads the most laps. Why? And Dale Earnhardt would only lose by 11 feet to Krusty Roder, who wins the 8th race. Oh yeah, that green car still wrecks other cars. Jeff Corvette will start at pole position for the ninth race, where Chick Hicks would wreck 9 cars. And he says this to Andrew Axler. But, but, but. Chick Hicks will be suspended for saying that. Jeff Corvette would end up winning, almost winning the ninth race, but he lost to the King, who will win the ninth race. But Jeff Corvette beat him to the pole for the tenth race, where the car in black, the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt, will lead the most laps. Chick Hicks would wreck 16 cars. Ruby Easy Oaks wasn't one of them, and he went on to win the 10th race. Ernie Gearson will start at pole position for the 11th race, but then Kyle Traxon would wreck 7 cars! Yuji Karbareski would almost win the 11th race, but in the end, Dale Carr- OH! Dale Carr only lost by 6 feet to Chuck Armstrong, and this is the finish of the 11th race. I know this could happen, but I do know that Jeff Corvette won the pole for the 12th race, and Chick Hicks, being back, wrecked 12 cars that race. Jeff Corvette easily won the 12th race. Mark Carton would end up starting at pole position for the 13th race, where Chick Hicks, the green car, would wreck 14 cars, including Andrew Axel. Jeff Burnton would go airborne because of Kyle Traxon. Why? But Rusty Wheelhouse would almost win the 13th race. But the King beat him to it. But there was another car who beat him by six feet. And that car was Rowley Bolt Strike, who would win the 13th race. 
Ernie Swervin, coming back, started at pole position for the 14th race, where he's out alongside Ricky Carvin, who qualified and went into the catch fence because of Chick Hicks. Why? And he wrecks 20 cars in total. Sterling Carlin got through the carnage and ended up winning the 14th race. The King would start at the pole for the 15th race, where Clint Shiftright would lead the most laps with 93. Check! Hex! Rex 20 cars again! And Brush Kerber and Jimmy Rhodes are all out for the season! But it's the only race they can race this year! Check Hex will luckily be suspended for four races. Kyle Traxon, his rival, will wreck some other cars, but Eugene Kardereski would be out because of Ken Schrader. Why are you wrecking him? Wasn't this a mistake? But his teammate Terry Carbine would almost win the 15th race, losing it to Rusty Wheelhouse, who will win the 15th race. He'll start third to Moore Clutchburn for the 16th race, where Hollingus would lead the most laps with 190, that's almost half, but the Intimidator would almost win the race, losing it somehow to Billy Oil Changer, who only led one lap. Rally Bolt Strike would start at pole position for the 17th race, where WJ Lights would end up leading the most laps with 170. Mark Burnsley would be out because of Ron Blaster, who would only lose by five feet to his rival, WJ Lights, who would end up winning the 17th race. Jeff Corvette would get yet another pull for the 18th race, but Chuck Armstrong would go into the catch fence because of Kyle Traxon. Why? His teammate, Ryan Thunderbolt Jr. will be out because of Dale Earnhardt, who would lead the most laps this race. But Lee Revkins and Manny Flywheel are out because of Sammy Smelter. That's gross. Take a car wash. Andrew Axler would end up leading these laps before Jimmy Speedcar would jump over him. How? WJ Lights would lead these laps after Jimmy Speedcar, but the King would only lose by 11 feet to Clint Shiftright, who will win the 18th race. Jeff Corvette will start at the pole for the 19th race, but the car that started second, the King, would end up being out in a crash with Sterling Carlin because of Traxon! Why? But he'll be suspended for eight races because of what he did. Ernie Swervin would almost win the 19th race, but the other car that's number 88, Dale Carrick, would end up winning that race. Ricky Carvin will start at pole position for the 20th race, where Chick Hicks wrecked 13 cars and. Jeff Corvette would lead the most laps that race, but WJ Lights would almost win the 20th race, but in the end, Ernie Swervin would win yet another race with the 20th race. But Rowley Bolt Strike would start at the pole for the next race, where Chick Hicks wrecks more cars. Do you know who isn't one of them? Hollingus, who would lead 96 laps, but Ken Schrader's out because of Eugene Karbareski! Why? But Dale Carrot will win the 21st race. He's the this the third race in a row where the number 88 went to Victory Lane. Jeremy Carfield, out of nowhere, will start at pole position for the 22nd race, where Dale Earnhardt would be out because of a hard crash, which also involved Ernie Swervin and Sterling Carlin. Mean Girl out because of Eugene Garbareski! Why? But 
he'd be out because of Ken Schrader. Why? But then he's out because of Jack Hicks. Why? But Jeff Corvette will win the 22nd race. If it wasn't already obvious, these two are rivals. Dale Earnhardt will start at pole position for the 23rd race, where the King would end up leading the most laps with 236, but Jack Hicks would wreck 14 cars. Misty Motocross would end up winning the 23rd race, but because Claude Scruggs stopped in front of the line to let Misty Motocross pass him. And this is her reaction to that. A car that makes slightly better decisions, being Jeff Burnton, would start at the pole. Where Rowley Bolt Strike would lead the most laps with 175. Jack Hicks would wreck 12 cars before WJ Lights would lose by 3 feet to his rival Mark Burnsley who would win the 24th race, but the King would end up starting at the pole for the 25th race, where Dale Earnhardt would be out because of Eugene Karbareski. Why do you wreck other cars like this green guy named Jack Hicks? Why do both of you wreck other cars? But Eugene Karbareski would sadly win the 25th race. Rally Bolt Strike will start at pole position after pulling the fastest lap in years. But Jack Hicks would wreck 16 cars. Rally Bolt Strike was extremely dominant, leading for 208 laps. Dale Earnhardt would only lose by 6 feet by hitting the wall, which let Rally Bolt Strike pass him to win. Dale Carrant will start at pole position for the 27th race, where Ken Schrader is out because of his familiar rival, Eugene Karbareski. Why? This other green car named Chick Hicks would wreck 21 cars. Kyle Trax and his rival would almost beat Chick at his track. But Chick Hicks ends up retaining his title of winning the Southern 500 too many times. Larry Smith will start at pole position for the 28th race where Andrew Axler quickly took the lead and led for 136 laps in the race. But Jack Hicks would wreck 17 cars and Danny Tyerson Jr. is out for the season. Kevin Phillips led the race and also led lap the field 10 times. How does any car lead by 10 laps? Murray Clutchburn eventually caught up and won the 28th race. This is the standings of the top 20 as of the 28th race. Remember to press the notifications button which goes ring 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 after you press it. And lightning strikes back. And that's as if you subscribed of course. And thank you for watching this entire video. I know it should take only one video to do 34 races, but they're so in detail that I can't make all of them in the length of one video. But races 29 to 35 should be out soon enough.